job orientation um yeah i just dropped the kids off at school uh just left the house um well i dropped the younger ones off at school and i went back to the house to um see jayla off to school my camera is just like not it because it's on this little dashboard here and it's moving all about but um yeah so i just watched jayla get on her school bus or whatever case it be um so now i'm on my way to a job orientation i'm supposed to be there at 8 30 it is now 803 so your girl got to get the going but i do want to stop and get me something to eat because i am hungry but then I don't want to stop to get me enough to eat because I know how my stomach is in the morning, y'all. Excuse me. But, like, every time I eat in the morning, especially it's the first meal of the day. It's, it don't even matter if it's in the morning or not. It's just the first meal of the day for me. When I eat, it messes up my stomach, something terrible. And, like, I be sitting there holding my stomach because it hurts so bad. But, yeah, I'm about to do that go to this orientation i think uh, from what they say we'll be in orientation for like three to four hours i'm hoping not but if we are it is what it is um of course baby is at work or whatever ty is at work twala is at home laid up she has the work later on today so hopefully i'll be done in time to get her off to work um but yeah y'all like what has been going on youtube all my rock stars out there y'all i'm looking all fat and bloated but it's all right it's all right y'all i don't like driving like that no more like i really don't like people i have i have really really seen the true colors of people people literally do not know how to drive like people do not know how to drive and it's like crazy and it makes me want to just park the car don't move don't budge or whatever case it be and yeah that's why <laughs> That's why I like being a car baby because he does all the driving. I'd rather him do all the driving than me. He got more patience than me, not me. Like, God ain't through with me yet. And I'd be ready to pull over and lay my hands upon a person. You feel me? So, yeah, y'all. I haven't blogged, blogged, blogged. I haven't vlogged in a while. I haven't given you no content in a while. But I promise you this will go up to day. Uh, when I get from orientation matter of fact as times go on as the day go on I'll be editing and go ahead and uploading you know bits and pieces not uploading but editing bits and pieces as I go through today um, it does feel funny because I haven't like I said I haven't vlogged in so long that I haven't vlogged in so long that it feels foreign. Like, it feels like, ugh. I don't know, but um, I'm trying to think where I want to get something to eat from. I might go to Wendy's and get me something to eat because I like their food. And I'm tired of eating the same thing with uh, McDonald's and 
Burger King and all that extra stuff. So, yeah. Oh, the camera. There we go. <laughs> Had a turn. The camera went cool. But, um, yeah. I need to get me a camera holder. Like, y'all comment down below. Like, what is a good camera holder for the car? Because baby got one right here or whatever and for some reason like every time you put your phone on it or whatever case to be i feel like you have to take your phone out the case or whatever but every time we put it on it, it like it turns and stuff and it makes it like it holds it holds but i feel like it turns a lot like it turns a heck of a lot and to the point where your phone is about to then gonna fall. Like, y'all see how the camera is? Like, I have to keep. Anywho, like I said, comment down below and give me some suggestions of a good camera holder. I might have to go look on Amazon to see if I could find one on Amazon or whatever because these camera holders ain't way yet. For real. And I'm not understanding why this doing this or whatever, like it's broke or something. I hope it's not broke because baby will be ticked off at me, but he'll be all right. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, it, you know, school has started back. This is the second week of school or whatever. Um, a lot of good things been going on. A lot of things that I have to come and talk to you guys about like oh my god y'all it has been a lot that has been going on for the last couple of months like we have some exciting news um i probably will um mm, vlog about that tomorrow give you guys an update of what has been going on I'm pretty sure I might do it tomorrow if I have the time to, but let you guys know what been going, on, what has been going on, which it, which has. Been, I can't talk this morning, like, uh -huh. like I'm saying, like it has been a lot going on, and I will be coming to you guys, letting you guys know what has been going on for the past couple of months, like kind of, sort of, of why I haven't been vlogging or uploading content for you guys um we just tried to get readjusted to a whole lot of things readjust adjusted readjusting the whole nine so yeah i'm about to go ahead to wendy's get me something to eat i don't know what i want though I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want, but I'm gonna get something. Um, yeah, like I said, it has been a lot going on, so I will definitely post about that, upload you guys. I mean, up vlog about that and upload about that or whatever kids be y'all. I am, like I said, I haven't vlogged in so so long, so it's like I'm not here. <laughs> and I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. But oh my god, they got a line. I think I got a good bit of time. I got enough time. They got a line though. Uh, Jesus. I'm at Wendy's. This is where Twala work at with her dad or whatever. Um, Y'all know her dad got two jobs or whatever case it be. Wendy is just as a little hanging the thing i guess i don't know because his other job is like totally totally much better he get paid a whole lot more there but that's neither here nor there let me make sure i have my credit card and the right credit card right there because then i won't be able to get nothing to eat okay yeah i got my credit card i don't know what i'm gonna get though but yeah like i said it's a whole lot that has been going on things that we are adjusting and readjusting to if that even a word if it is is my if it's not is my word today but um 
I am rambling. Like, I really feel myself just rambling because I haven't done this in a long time. And that's terrible because y'all know I was always vlogging and uploading content for you guys back to back, back to back, back to back. But it's a lot of things that I want to do. It's a lot of things that I want to finish. I'm really, 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 really needing to network i'm really needing to really put myself out there as far as this youtube thing because i'm really really trying to up my subscribers and stuff um um yeah and i'm not i don't feel like i'm not going by the right way i'm not and i can't be mad at that because i'm not posting like i'm supposed to to um get where i need to be but i am definitely gonna work on that because i have not been myself lately i can admit that or whatever but that's a me problem hold on one second let me order but anyway i'm probably sure i'll see my kid's father in a minute but yeah y'all i'm telling y'all the next video y'all gonna see is gonna be really I have to really process and think about what I'm going to say, how I'm going to say it, how I'm going to really let you guys know what was going, has been going on up in our little world lately. Um, Cause it has been a lot. It really, really has been a lot with work and all the bull crap that's going on there, new jobs and new opportunities and stuff like that. So yeah, it has been some amazing things happening some amazing things I know is going to continue to happen um I'm just waiting for I know God got our back and he will not put too much on us that we can bear but we also got to make ourselves vulnerable to him and not to by nobody else we got to make ourselves vulnerable to him and nobody else and that's what it boils down to. You got to stay faithful, stay trustworthy, and believe in that he'll do all things that strengthens us and whatever. But, yeah, I'm about to pay for my food, wait for this truck to move, but I'm about to pay for my food, and um, I'll hit you guys back up. So, I'm back. <laughs> I just want to eat. Y'all. This is hot. But I must give it up to Lil Wendy's. Wendy's low breakfast um potato wedges are bomb. I'm hungry. And these things are bomb. For real, for real. They are bomb. But y'all, mm, I can't wait for the next video to share with y'all what I got to share with y'all. Like Matter of fact, if I have time today, I might upload, talk about that today. Um, you know, and don't be talking about the way I eat either, because I'm a big girl and I love food. <laughs> I love food. I'm really thinking I should have ate this early because I know this thing is gonna mess my stomach up. I know it is. I know it's gonna mess my stomach up, but y'all. I'm going to talk about I'm just rambling just to upload something but like I was saying I'm on my way to a job orientation it's like I'm giving y'all guys a little mini mukbang 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 
mukbang. However you want to call it. It's like so many people call it. So many people call it different things. I don't call it mukbang. But like I said, I'm on my way for my job orientation. Um. Because I will be leaving my previous job. You know, I give them my two weeks notice. I'll be leaving them because it has been so much that has been going on that I can't get jiggy with. Like, I have been working with them since February. So, let me see. February. March, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, I've been with them roughly six months. But the reason why I'm choosing to leave because, one, you guys, I'm not getting the hours. Like, I only work one day, one week. And then three days the next week. And it's a repeat of things. So it's one, three, one, three, one, three, da, 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 da. And the pay is okay, I guess, for what I, you know, for the situation. The pay is okay. But the hours are not okay. The hours are not okay. So basically, I work Thursday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Thursday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. And like Thursday is the longer day because basically I have to, I go to work from home. eight in the morning. Ooh, spitting all out my mouth. I go to work from eight in the morning to to two o'clock. Which that gives me time to, which that gives me time to um, go take to all of the work, move birdie, take to all of the work and get the girls home from school because I don't have to be back to the job until 4.30. It gives me time to get the girls back to school, wait for babe to come home probably take me like a two second nap and then for Bay to drop me back off and then from 4 th at 4 30 and then from 4 30 to uh, roughly six o'clock about six six thirty or whatever and then I'll leave after that after I'm, basically after I'm done with everything that I can leave and like I've been telling you guys like that's not really giving me no hours you know what i like to part like this there we go um, that's not giving me no hours or whatever case it be and then it's like when i first started working near like i'm gonna hurry up um, it's 8.23 I gotta be there at 8.30 but that's so when I first started working there this is what I got you guys I got the number 7 the Baconator meal burger whatever and this I'm hungry but mm. now I was like when I first started working in, it was cool or whatever. But I couldn't get jiggy with it because how my schedule was at first when I first started working in, I was working in Saturday and Sunday and then every other Saturday and Sunday. So basically, Saturday and Saturday, skip a weekend, Saturday and Saturday, skip like that. And it was the only, time, the only two days I was getting. I was getting two days every two weeks or whatever. So, rightfully so, that's not what a person want in a job. That's not giving me no money. I have bills, I have kids, car insurance, and all this stuff to pay. Yeah, me and babe do it together, but my thing right here, I'm not, it's like I'm not pulling my weight as far as the bills concerned, if that makes sense. And so, 
I can't and work with I couldn't deal with that. Mm. Honestly, I couldn't deal with that because it wasn't for me. I was afraid of him. And I know my work as a job. So that's how I was working. And then it made me get other jobs. So I was all together, you guys, at one point in time, I was working three jobs. I was working at a warehouse factory. I was working at the nursing home. And then I was working at Dollar General. Dollar General wasn't giving me nothing. Even though they was getting paid every week, I was only working there three days, three hours. That wasn't giving me nothing. And then plus their pay rate was seven twenty five. dollars I couldn't get jiggy with it. Not trying to bash them whatever kids be. That's what y'all want to do or whatever kids be. Or any people who work in that Dollar General, if that's what y'all want to do, that's on y'all. But it wasn't working for me. Sorry. So, that's how that was. Or whatever. Then the warehouse job, I was working that. Monday through Friday from 3 o'clock to 11. And so that was kind of hectic on me, whatever case it be, because the days that I had to work Dollar General, it would have been like 8 o'clock in the morning to about 11 o'clock. Probably sleep for a little bit. Then had to get up and go get the kids out of school early because we had to be to work by 3 o'clock because me and Bay was both working at the same place. We had to be to work by 3 o'clock. Well, so we had to get the kids out of school early. Once the school started complaining because the kids was missing out on things or whatever. And we don't want them to miss out on stuff. So then after that, I'll go to that job. And then Saturday and Sunday, I would have to work the nursing home. But then, see, like I said, every Saturday, like Saturday and Sunday, I was having to work every other Saturday and Sunday. So it would be to the point where I was literally working all three jobs for seven days then maybe two jobs for five then back to seven then five then back to seven then five like it was non-stop and i was tired my feet was hurting and i was killing myself you guys mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i'm trying to eat as much as i can uh, once they go cold, that's it. And then it's gonna be in this hot heat. I don't think, okay, I see a trash can. I just throw it away and try. Let's eat what I can eat. Just put something on my belly, but. I, it was killing me. So then I left. Well, I left Dollar, well. I kind of sort of left Dollar General and they kind of sort of let me go at the same time. But I mean by that because I was getting no hours like that. They knew I wasn't getting no hours like that. It's like the people who was there longer got more hours than the newcomers. So the manager was like, well, being the fact that um, she basically was saying, being the fact that I'm not getting the hours, whatever case it be, she's like, either I can go on. I was getting the hours. I wasn't getting the hours to the point that I guess the system wasn't recognizing me like that, or I don't know how to explain it. It's a way that she explained it to me, but it's like, I don't know how to explain it, but she was like, well, you go back on the website and apply again. And I'm like, nah, I'm not doing all that. Because <sighs> I'm not getting no hours. And then when I do go to work or whatever case it be, it was like I was sitting on the computer. Like when I first started, I was on the register and I was having fun on the register. Like I was doing real good. I was love interacting with people, love doing on the register, being on the register, learning the keyboard and all that. But then, when I got in, it's like she was rushing me and wanting me to do more computer work than being, you know, doing a job or whatever the case may be. And that was like boring, <laughs> completely boring. But yeah, I'll come back and let you know about all of that. I'll see y'all in a few or whatever and keep y'all posted about what's going on. I'm about to text babe and let him know I love him and I won't be able to talk to him because I'll be in orientation and I'll talk to him when I get out. So with that, with that being said, I'll talk to you guys when I get out. So, all right, you guys, I am back. It is now 11.05. I just um, got out orientation or whatever. Uh, I have to hold the camera because for some reason, I guess because it got hot or whatever, so now my little phone holder will not hold the phone or whatever 
but um oh, excuse me like i said i'm now out of orientation i'm about to head to the house uh probably pick up twala or whatever case it be go find something to eat and um go from there she has to work today so we won't be out hanging out um we won't be hanging out pretty late oh well, kids because i have to have her to work at least by two o'clock be at the kids school by 2 30 ish to get in that line to get them out of school um but yeah y'all i am like super duper excited about starting this new job or whatever um yeah i'm very very excited about starting this new job um i had to do orientation i thought it would have been longer than this whatever case would be but all together it was like two and a half hours i learned how to do my locker and all that stuff like that so i don't go back until friday because i have to work my other job thursday and saturday and sunday and then i go back monday and then i get my schedule from then so i'll be working in the morning till like three o'clock just enough time to go get the kids like because if y'all know the i'll show y'all later how the school line is when you enter this line or whatever case it be this line is long the kids get out of school at three o'clock or whatever but i know i probably won't get them until like maybe 15 minutes after three o'clock so with that being said even with me getting off at three o'clock or whatever i still have enough time i could just hit the highway i still have enough time to go and get them or whatever um on wednesdays on wednesdays they dad will be getting them or whatever or at least i'm gonna ask him to get them or whatever case it be because homeboy act like he can't get his turn sometimes but um so wednesday should work out um but the other days i'll have to figure it out then on top of that i'm have to figure out how i'm going to get twala back and forth to work because i take her to work her dad picks her up so we're gonna have to figure that out or oh, whatever um all in all and all in all we just don't have to figure out how to do these schedules or whatever case it be um that's why i'm so desperate desperately trying to hurry up and get my car fixed i need to actually get it towed back to the house my other car this car right here yeah is my car too but this is baby's car and he has been getting rides back and forth to work so i can have the car to get the kids back and forth to school get kids back and forth to work however whatever but um we gonna have to figure something out um like i said i have to get my car if y'all don't know i have a mercury milan and that's has been that's have been in the shop for like two three weeks now so i gotta get that towed back to the house just until i can find somebody who can actually work on it the repairs that needs to be done and get estimates and stuff like that for it because everybody needs a car baby need a car so he can get home or whatever i need a car so i can get home and see i on with the new job i'll be working on saturdays and baby has to work on saturdays and usually saturday is when he takes the car to get back and forth work because i don't have to work but this saturday he might have to get a ride i'm not sure how he want to do that because usually he will take off work early to um make sure i get to work on saturdays but so i don't know how he want to do that this weekend or whatever case it is because i hate that he have to leave work early or whatever case would be to make sure i get to work you know that's why i need to hurry up and get my car situated because that's missing he's missing out on money you know a few hours on money um 
a few hours of money or whatever case it be that it could be very beneficial to the household so yeah I need to um figure like there's like a lot of things we need to figure out or whatever um as far as these vehicles and rides like yeah and I don't want him to be or feel like a burden on other people that he works with to give him a ride back and forth to work or whatever until we can get my car fixed um so yeah and then it's like with us having six kids and stuff like that transporting people back and forth to church and all of the places that we need to go and be we really can't because of us being down one car but it's all good i hate when people when i'm driving and people is riding my tail now if i dangle and break check yourself you think i'm wrong and i'll be in the right because you hit me from the back but anyway i'm about to pull up to the house i'm kind of sleepy i'm not gonna lie i'm kind of sleepy um I definitely could eat again because I'm still hungry. <laughs> I ain't hungry, hungry. I'm just greedy. Like, y'all, I just like eating. And that ain't cool. That ain't good. That ain't nothing you want to do. Just eat to eat. Or whatever. But, hey. Um, I don't even know what Twala wanted to eat. Or whatever what she want to do. I don't know. But anyway, um. I know I just got to be back in time to let mama in. Um, if y'all guys don't know, probably didn't, uh, my mom has been staying with us for a few because she was um, well, she was in the process of moving. She's in the process of moving and her apartment wasn't ready. So, so um, she was staying with us until... Um, her apartment got ready or whatever and so now it's ready so she has been um moving today or whatever case may be so yeah y'all um let me get all my stuff and i'll get back with you guys when i get in the house so yeah y'all i'm in the house now i'm about to change my clothes go find something to eat if you hear the, the that noise in the background that is my fan I'm just sitting here looking at my schedule, trying to figure out how I can maneuver everything that I need to maneuver. Um, yeah, and go from there. But like I said, I'm about to change my clothes. And I guess we're going to find out something to eat. Wear it. I don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. But yeah. Be back with you. So yeah, y'all, I done came back in the house and, oh my God, changed my clothes or whatever. Now I'm about to head to my other job because I have to, y'all, I'm fat, I'm tired. I have to um, put in my two weeks notice. Oh. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna take that off. Cause it ain't working. This thing here ain't working. Oh, I hope I didn't break this thing. I think I might have. Had. Oh, can we get it? We get it. But, um,. Yeah, y'all. So I gotta go put in my two weeks notice. For some reason, this little holder thing ain't holding nothing. I don't know why it did fine when I left out of here this morning, even with the humps and the bumps. But now I act like I ain't wanna work. So, <laughs> anywho, anyway, I'm on my way to 
my other job, like I said, to put my two weeks notice in. I was supposed to go yesterday to put in my two weeks notice, but I didn't feel like doing nothing yesterday at all. So I'm going to do it today because I have to work Thursday and I also have to get a COVID check, a COVID test done. And no, I don't have COVID, but that is mandatory that everybody who has not taken the shot at, uh, at my job, we have to do uh, mandatory COVID testing twice a week or whatever. <clears throat> And so today I have to go take it and then I'll get another one taken Thursday when I officially do go in there for work or whatever. But like I told them, I'm going to be late because I have to take my child to her doctor's appointment. And so, yeah, that's more important than anything else. Um, So I'm going to do that and then we're going to run and get something to eat. Then got to get this one back to the house to get her tail feather worthy for work and then once I drop her off I have to go and this long line which I'm gonna show y'all when I get there how long this line can be and does get <clears throat> oh my sir why is you playing in traffic y'all like Y'all, like, it's this man in those push to shove. That's why I call it scooters for elderly. A push to shove. This man is in a push to shove or whatever. Like, it's the electric, what is that? An electric scooter for, you know, like the elderly people that they ride in. He's, okay, as you should, you're supposed to ride towards traffic and not from traffic. So he's riding towards traffic, but why is he playing in traffic? Cause he see me coming and he gonna push himself in the middle of the damn gone street. <laughs> what was that? This man literally pushed himself in the middle of the street. Like he wanted me to hit him. Now my thing right here about him doing that. So I had to swerve around him. Now one of them was cars coming in the other direction. I mean in the other lane and I had to swerve to go get him. I mean, he swerved to go get him. I had to swerve from him so I would avoid hitting him. And he playing in traffic. I could have got hit myself. I would have been hurt myself. Like, what in the world? And then he did. What did he say, though? He mumbled something. Boo. Boo. Who shall drink anybody's stuff? Like, I'm just trying to figure out what well, I'm trying to figure out is why he did that. I need me some more shade. Baby got me wearing shades, y'all. It's like he wears his shades all the time, as y'all know and have seen in previous videos. Like, no matter where he is, it ain't even got to be a sun outside. He got shades on. It's not a sun outside, but you got your shades on. It's a sunny day. Don't do me. It's a sun somewhere. But I'm gonna wear my shades so. though. Um, and it matches my outfit. You yesterday. You hell, back. No, yesterday it was blinding. That sun was blinding yesterday. But yeah, yo. He just made me, he just made me feel all types of ways now. He really and truly did. Because my things right here, if I was one of them beginner drivers, I wouldn't know how to avoid him. He probably would have got hit. For real, for real. But yeah, like I said, when I get to the kids' school, I will show y'all that long behind line that we have to sit in. But y'all, I'm excited about my new job. I'll tell y'all where I work maybe some other time. I probably told y'all already. I ain't know. The, the day has been a <laughs> busy morning already. So I probably already told y'all. I don't know what all I have told y'all to be honest. <laughs> like, I figure as I start putting bits and pieces together to edit or whatever case it be, 
but I know at one point in time I was rambling like crazy rambling. But um, <clears throat> I probably did tell y'all was working, but if I didn't, then I'll tell y'all <clears throat> another time or whatever. But like I said, y'all, I am so excited to start working. One thing that I do love about my job, it is retail, that I will say. <clears throat> it is retail. And I have been trying to get this job, like, a couple of times, or whatever case it be. For some reason, I wasn't able to get it. I don't know why, but hey, third time to charm, and I got it. <clears throat> One thing I do like about my job, I get a discount, and so does my family. So, my kids, uh, my honey decide they want to come in to find my outfit or decorate my house or however whatever they can get my discount or whatever and yes my thing's right here like yeah i do this youtube thing but people gotta realize <clears throat> youtuber have a life outside of youtube and some of you YouTube people and some of the YouTube people have successfully done this here, <clears throat> has been successful at um, YouTubing the whatever. so this is their career. But until I get to that point, and I pray one day I do get to that point where I don't have to work a 9 to 5, which I don't mind working a 9 to 5, I could just pick up a camera and just share my day with you guys and get some money like that you know get some offers and stuff like that then hey so be it that what I, that's is what i'm going to do until further notice but right now i'm in the weird plop, plop, plop. i am in the real world so yes mama got to get a job and mama have to keep a job so i could pay these hair bills or what have you but oh my god i'm going down a road that i do not like but this is how I have to get to my other job. Like, these roads are narrow. And it seems like the left side of traffic is coming into the right side. And they be speeding down this dang old road. Lord have mercy. It's like, you, when you coming down this road, you have to have a moment of silence. Because they so retarded riding down this road. It ain't even funny. Is not fun. Let me holler at y'all when I get off this road. Period. Be back. So back with the business <laughs> and stuff. But so okay, guys, I'm back. Um, just had to run in there, get my COVID test done, and sign my paper that I will be leaving. My last day will be on the 14th, just before Dude's birthday, which is the 15th. So I mean, bittersweet, but that on that um to be honest for a while now i knew i was ready to leave there because it was just like a little bit of things that was just not sitting right with me a little bit of things that was upsetting me a little bit of things that i couldn't get jiggy with so it was time for me that is so gross time for me to go ahead and transition on to something else um like i said the job that i got is a job that i always wanted it's a j place that i'm always in love going to um love shopping at when i do have the funds to shop so yeah y'all um it's gonna be a bitter it's gonna be kind of bittersweet but It is what it is, y'all. It is what it is. Um, oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. oh, that's funny. <laughs> when crack hit your system. You want to go out for breakfast? <laughs> well, anywho, but like I was saying. <laughs> Who said that? I will be right back. Okay, that was a pause. Those girls joking. <laughs> anyway, we're back. Uh, right now, we about to head to Golden Corral to get us some food. 
I don't know if y'all gotta go to Corral where you guys at. If y'all do, comment down below and let me know where y'all at. And if y'all do have a go to Corral, because y'all would know that the food and go to Corral be busting sometimes. <laughs> but I don't know. And then let me comment down below also too like what do y'all be eating because every time i go to go to corral it never feels like every restaurant that i go to that i go to a lot i'm always getting the same thing like for real like i'm always getting the same things like my my menu never changes and i don't understand why <laughs> i'm not understanding why but it never i always get the same thing even when i'm here i go to corral and there's very much so different options in there that i can choose from but i'm always getting the same low tide stuff but that's what i like so i eat what i like or whatever but who like we get the same thing during it all the time but yeah yeah hey it is nice over here. One day that's gonna be us. Cause I am determined I'm going to either make it big or I am going to hit the lottery. I speak that in my life. We are going ooh, we are going to make it big. And we are either we're gonna make it big or we are going to hit the lottery. Whichever one comes first. But I'd rather struggle and make it and get it on my own than to win the lottery. Where mine is at? In my jewelry bag. I just grabbed these two. I don't even know which one I grabbed. It's in my jewelry bag. But yeah, I'd rather struggle and get it on my own than win the lottery or whatever it is to be. But either way, how they say more money, more problems. I just hope I don't have that prop, those problems. Just give me the more money. <laughs> Or whatever the case may be. But yeah, one day we're gonna make it big. I speak that in Jesus' name. We 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 gonna we gonna make it. We gonna, and I ain't necessarily wanna be necessarily make it big. I just wanted to be comfortable, well and well off. Especially comfortable where because I'm I'm a pity picture. I don't shop unless I want to or have to but if i don't have to i would not do it i am very cheap okay yeah i'll tell you yeah i probably be sitting on two three hundred dollars and tell you i'm broke because i don't like spending money i don't like spending money and then i feel like once i start spending money then i can't stop so i'd rather not just i'd rather just not spend or whatever case it be unless it's something that we really and truly need but other than that i'm good in the hood but yeah I believe one day we're gonna do it and I speak that in existence because I don't know what parent don't want better for their kids but this girl here want better for herself and her kids but most most of all for her kids I want to know I wanted to be able to God forbid if I pass the day or tomorrow or further down the line we all gonna pass but however whenever I pass I wanted to be where my kids are successful and I leave my kids my legacy not no uh chump change and this and, that and the third like I wanted to be where my kids can live comfortable for their kids their grandkids you know stuff like that or whatever and I know one day soon it's gonna happen because I'm very determined and I have that mindset and that drive to make it happen so yeah with that being said it's gonna happen um but yeah we about to pull up here and go to corral get us something to grub and go from that go from that oh i can't drive you yeah we gonna go from there is this car moving or is it just me oh it's moving because it didn't look like it was moving this now and I'm like why does the car seem like it's getting closer to me even it was just me I'm tripping y'all it's alright <laughs> but we always up and go to the corral I swear I swear we are let me back it on up back it on up 
She always talking about teaching how to dang on drive. That child, we tried to teach y'all to drive, and she was actually joking. Like, do I need my pocketbook or you paying for us? Oh, she paying for us. I don't need my pocketbook, so I'ma just take me and my keys. Cause I be tired of carrying around a pocketbook sometimes. But yeah, she, like she hungry. But yeah, I need to learn to fix my wing more better. Like, we about to, ooh, that chicken smell good. Like, we, about, we about to go ahead and get our grub on. Mm. I got a whole lot of editing to do. I know that. Whole lot of editing to do. Let me pull these shorts out. My day ain't going business like that and look how y'all look how she look like why she look like this looking like a hoochie she look like a straight hoochie y'all so yeah we about to go ahead and get our grab on one see y'all on the other side so y'all we just got done eating our food i ain't gonna lie i'm fat can't breathe right now but we left we we cut that short because why it was these people who came in. They oh, from Charlotte. Charlotte or whatever. And I guess the Golden Corrals in Charlotte or whatever, they stopped their breakfast at a certain time. So these people was determined they was going to find a place that served Golden Corrals breakfast. Well, sir, they was going to find a Golden Corral that served breakfast. Shall I put it like that? Let me get in because I can't see. And so, um, they found it, which is the one here. And so, do we have time to go in here? Yep. And so, they came, and when I tell y'all, these people ate like they were the clumps. Y'all, these people ate like they were the clumps. Mind you, they wasn't about so big. They was a good size people, but they wasn't like fat or unhealthy looking. Like they was a good size. And these people was in here eating like the clumps. When I tell y'all, they had like 20, 20 pieces of pancake. They had, Bunch of bacon. They had like three, four, five plates. I want to say a good five pits, plates full of of bacon they had grits and eggs like four or five plates of grits and eggs like they was eating eating now i get it go to corral as a, a buffet you know eat your money's worth or whatever kiss me about good god almighty that did not make no sense it didn't and even while they was eating they were still going back and forth getting more food the table was covered and i'm like and then i think one plate of grits and eggs they was actually sharing it I'm like, oh my god, like, child, that was not cute. I might as well leave this one and just take the key. It's gonna look. But yeah, y'all, that didn't make no dang on sense at all. But we about we up in here about to go to Smoothie King to see if Tondra gonna give us a smoothie. <laughs> we fat. Don't don't judge us. <laughs> So you guys, I done dropped Twala off at work. I had to stop at her grandma house for her um her work shoes. And we went back to the house so she could get dressed and ready or whatever case it be. And then I dropped her off. But right now, you guys, I am currently sitting here at the kids' school in this long behind line, y'all. And I'm about to show y'all. Line for the school 
and people would just be coming through this way or whatever case it be now mind y'all it's a whole lot of people it's a whole lot of people that has to pick up kids as well or whatever and has been sitting in this line longer than a lot of people who come through that little path and i feel like it's not fair that some of these people let these people cut in front of them like i mean a harm i ain't trying to be funny but i can't do it i've been sitting out here for umpteen minutes or whatever case it be and not only that it's hot out here and you think i'm about to let you cut in my line after i've been waiting you just pull up and trying to be fast whatever kids were kind of friend of somebody no that is not cool and that's not right and i'm not letting you do it so i'm glad i'm not up there because that person would have to dang go wait sorry not sorry it'd be to the point where the line literally be okay it comes down this way and turn so it comes down where i'm at and wrap around the street wrap around the whole street because it's a long line being the fact that you don't want to wait for the line or whatever you decide oh i'm gonna take the shortcut and try to get in front of somebody like that's not fair like everybody was out here the length that they was out here some even longer than others and that's not fair that you think you can jump line to get your child everybody else trying to get their child too but you know what I'm let y'all be good because i feel like when you cutting them you cutting me too so now i gotta wait extra longer to get my children because y'all cut in line and that's not cool and that's not fair so y'all with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and close this vlog out i love you rock stars make sure you like comment subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell so you can know every time i upload and post on my channel um make sure you tell a friend that is a friend that knows a friend to come rock out with your girl and i will see you guys in another video peace